Hey guys, um, I'm Mr. Byerly, the library STEAM teacher, and when we're, when we're in the library, um, we like to read really cool books, and then we like to invent things. So I'm combining those two with this awesome book called Robots. It's a, it's a nonfiction book, so we know we're gonna learn something, okay? So, this is Robots. Introduction. A robot is a machine that can move and do work automatically in place of a human. Robots are often used when a job is very dangerous or boring or dirty. A car wash is a type of robot. Think of a job you would have to do that you would like a robot to do for you. We sometimes use the word robot to mean a machine that looks like a person. These robots are usually in films like Star Wars. This robot can move its arms and legs. What can robots do? Robots can only do what they are programmed to do. Many robots have parts made like arms and hands that allow them to move like humans. Robots can help humans in many different situations. Robots have been sent into space to do jobs where humans could not work. Some robots are used in space. Robots are able to do jobs that humans find boring. Robots are used to make cars. Imagine how you would feel painting the same part of a car 1,000 times every day. A robot does not have feelings or a nose to get stuffed with paint spray. All right, so I'm gonna skip a little bit. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you some pictures here. So that's, those are some different, different types of robots that you might see and learn about the different jobs. Now I'm gonna skip to my favorite part, making a robot. Now that you have read and thought about robots, perhaps you would like to make a model robot of your own. You will need, so here's your materials, four cardboard tubes, one big rectangular cardboard box, one medium square cardboard box, two small square cardboard boxes, tape, and a paintbrush. What to do? Use the big rectangular box for the body, tape two of the cardboard tubes to the sides of the box, these are the arms. Tape two of the cardboard tubes to the bottom of the box. These are the legs. Okay, so there's your materials. And if you don't have exactly what you need, it's okay, because scientists sometimes have to improvise and do the best they can. Tape a small box to the end of each leg. These are the feet. Use the medium-sized box as a head for your robot. Cut two holes for eyes. Remember to leave the back of the head box open so that you can put the eyes in later. Take care with scissors. Tape the head to the top of the big box. The robot body now has a head, arms, and legs. Time to paint your robot. So he's starting to come together, and there he looks. And if it doesn't look exactly like that, that's okay, because you're the scientist, you're the artist, and you can make your robot exactly how you want it. Okay, guys, so that book was called Robots. I can't, to see, I can't wait to see what you make.